I know I haven't done a video in a while and I gotta try to be quiet so I want y'all to see this this is a mulch pile that was dumped here a couple of years ago and I've been turning it every probably about every six months <clears throat> I turned this probably a month ago and look at these guys and look here I got laying hens up there and them two big old black guys there are uh, black broilers which will be butchered real soon here and what do you think they're doing scratching they're picking out bugs they're picking out uh, roots they're probably picking a lot of roots out of there uh, or vegetation that's been growing or that may have uh, fermented a little Let me tell you, this mulch right here is going to be going in the garden this year, and I'm going to miss it when it's gone, and so are these guys. But I'm working on another pile, but it's not a mulch pile, it's compost, and I'd sure like to get a bunch more mulch out. I think I'll work on that, getting more mulch out here. This is why you want to buy your meat and eggs from somebody uh, that you know, like a farmer that's been raising their chickens this way. This is what you want. <clears throat> you want chickens that are still in the loop, if you will. My birds are in the loop, man. I mean, they do everything in, in nature because that's the way it's meant to be. I mean, this is what they've been doing. They've been, you know, moseying around, picking and eating off of different things, depending on what it is, uh, for thousands and thousands of years. Human beings have been making mulch piles, and for thousands of years, people have had chickens. So for thousands of years, these chickens, this is what they've been doing. So if you eat if you eat meat from my birds or you eat eggs from my birds, you know you're going to get the full circle of life and the chain of events that happen in between the whole thing. And you're going to have every every single link of that chain is going to be strong. They're getting vegetation, they're getting greens, they're getting uh, whole grains, they're getting everything that they want and need. I supply it if it's not available in one form or another. I don't just give it to them in some, you know, uh, heat, heat, heat treated, pressurized, compressed pellet or crumbled whatever have you. Yeah, it's a full, you know, it's like buying a breakfast cereal. Did I say that in my last video? I don't know. But uh, <clears throat> when you eat chicken that's raised in confined uh, spaces, uh, you know, the CAFO type places. And and I, like I said, I'm going to say it again. I'm not against them. I'm just saying if you eat them, just understand you're getting chicken that's basically living off of breakfast cereal. You know, Cheerios. Pretty much. And they eat that. And, you know, this is food that's been processed and heated and everything else. You want to get food that's fresh and natural and raw. And that is the key. Fresh, natural, raw food for your birds. That means if you grow the grass yourself, if you sprout the grains yourself, that's fine. Or if they come out here in nature and get them. They're getting sprouted grains right here. It's like this January 28th or 9th, I don't know. And it's it's, it's nice outside. 70 degrees, a beautiful, beautiful day. One of those days you're just just glad you're alive man it's just a nice day <clears throat> and I saw these birds over here and I thought I'd share it with you 
the time's coming, spring's near, and we're going to be at the market. So, come on down. Get the good stuff. It's worth every penny. You can buy, you can buy beef for ten dollars a pound for the good stuff. Or you could buy chicken for three dollars, three fifty a pound. Because that's what I'm selling mine for. And you're definitely, definitely getting the good stuff. Your family. Oh, there you go. Your family will be getting high quality. They get the nutrients and everything, and the micro and macronutrients. You don't forget the micro and macronutrients. They're more important than anything else, really. Of course, you can you can you can label food by protein and carbohydrates and fat and sodium and whatever. But really, what's important is you get the whole thing. Piggy pig out there too. You looking for acorns? Or she is. Charlotte. Charlotte. Big pig. Big pig. There you are, Charlotte. Alright. Alright folks. I'm gonna leave it. There you go. Chickens doing chicken things. Chickens being chickens. They are having a great time right now because it's not freezing but cold. And they're enjoying scratching, digging and finding delicious, yummy morsels to eat. And they do it just for you. Hi, welcome to Oklahoma, folks. Lucky Farmer. Signing out.